I'm going to show you the best way to repair any small holes and cracks in your walls. For this job, we're going to need some Polycell multi-purpose polyfiller, a cloth, some sandpaper, and a filling knife. In total, this job should only take about five minutes, excluding drying times. Now, for really small holes or cracks, here's a useful tip. Before you do any filling, make sure you widen the crack slightly using an old filling knife. This just helps the filler adhere more easily. Then, what you want to do is clear away any loose dust or plaster with your fingers like this. I always use a brush to clear away the finer dust. This is really important, as it helps the filler stick more firmly as it dries. For smaller holes, you can use the filler straight from the tube. Just make sure you knead it well before applying. Just make sure you use enough so there's some overflow, just to make sure you've completely covered the opening. Now there is a trick to smoothing filler properly. Using a wet knife, pull the knife from the center of the hole outwards. Not from top to bottom or side to side, as this will only pull the product away from the edge of the hole. And leave it to dry. This should take about 12 hours, depending on the size of the hole. And that's it. You're finished. Your walls are smooth and ready to decorate. To keep your knife clean, wash it in some warm soapy water. If you want to do the job a bit faster and you want a super smooth finish first time, try Polycell Quick Drying Polyfiller. So to quickly recap, step one, remove any loose material and brush or wipe clean with a cloth. Step two, fill the hole and smooth outwards from the center with a wet knife. Step three, leave to dry and then you're ready to decorate.